What's up bait makers? I built this swim bait just for some experiments and what I found might surprise you, so stay tuned. Welcome back to Yauk Outdoors. My name is Goya. Today I'm going to do an experiment on jointed swim bait. Let me start with some swim bait drawings. Traditionally, the cuts on the swim baits from top view are either flat or with a V-shape pointing forwards. When you retrieve, the cuts will not catch the current, so it will make the swim bait glide smoothly. But if you want to create more left and right swim actions, you will have to add a lip or fins or wings. I wonder if there's a way to create more actions without introducing additional components. So if the reason for making the V-shaped cuts pointing forward is to make it glide more smoothly, if I make the V-shape pointing backwards, would it make it swim not as smoothly? Or even create some unstable movements? Hmm, let's find out. So here I need to design something symmetrical so I can retrieve in both ways. So both ends can be the head. Let's get started. Here we start with a pipe form and we don't need to make it too fancy. Just need to be top, bottom, left and right, front and back, symmetrical. And also make the center part a little bit thicker. Now sketch the gap, the V-shape cuts. Then we extrude the outline to make the cut. Now split it in half. And next, I draw the outline for the through wires and make a pipe form for that outline so I can use that as a tool to cut the body. Here you can see the through wires are coming out from both ends so I can make them as line tie and uh, either end can be the head. And now you can see I have the space for the through wires. And also I cut a few cylinders so I have a bigger space for the joints. And here's the close-up for the space. I think this prototype is gonna be light, so I'm creating some weight slots to hold the weights. So to create that, I draw an outline. Uh, instead of creating one by one, I create a connected outline and make a pipe form for that outline. And then use the pipe form as a tool to cut. Here's the complete prototype and there are total six pieces. Uh, I don't want to bring them one by one to the slicer and uh, print them on the bed and uh, do the adjustment. So what I did here was I make a branch to connect all of them together. So this will become one piece. It's, it will be a lot easier for me to bring it to the slicer and bring it to the printer. Here's the slicer result. It will take three hours to print.
I probably didn't have to make it so complicated because this is just a prototype. Oh well, at least this is a good practice. So next time I know what works and what doesn't. Apparently it needs a lot more weights, so I just hand the weights at the hook ties. Next is to try this in water, and because uh, I have line ties at both ends, I can retrieve from the left or from the right. And which way will give me more actions? We'll find out. Yes, Disney Princess Rod. Anyways, let's try the forward cut first. As you can see, it doesn't want to do too much if I just reel it in steadily. It might have some actions once in a while, but not consistently. I can make it swim left and right if I twitch or use stop and go retrieve or walk the dog action, but I need to work it. Alright, this one looks like a dead stick. Okay, let's turn it around. The benefit of this two-way swim bait is that I can minimize the variables in this experiment. Now I just need to untie and tie it on the other end. I think you can see the difference right away, even if I just retrieve steadily. Not sure why I haven't seen any jointed swim baits with this kind of reverse cuts. Maybe people think it doesn't look natural to fish's eyes, or maybe people have tried it, but it didn't work out. Leave your comments if you have tried it and uh, how it worked out for you. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison. You can clearly see that with the same retrieval speed, the normal cut is just not swimming. And the reverse cut is swim like a snake. If you have not tried designing your jointed swim bait like this, I would like to challenge you. Tell me what you find. Until next time, peace.